Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to create a 3D profile graph using the digital elevation model in ArcGIS Pro. So how to download this same data I have already explained in previous videos. If you didn't watch that video, you can visit Vikas Gramod channel. You can able to see how to download the Aster DIM. So after downloading the Aster DIM, you need to project the DIM accordingly your UTM zone. So I have already projected here, just right click and go to properties. In the source, you can able to see I have already projected this data into UTM zone 43. So after that, we need to go to view and we need to convert this to local C. Okay, just click here. Now you can able to see new window is open here. Okay, that is a map ready because we just click on the view and then convert to local scene. So now two windows here, two different windows. In that there is a dam is here and also dam is here. But if you'll see the difference is here, that is elevation surface things is added here. You will see here this elevation surface is not here. So when you will see the elevation surface, in that elevation surface, just click on the ground. And we need to add the same data again here. Okay. So just right click, then add elevation source layer. So that's the location where you have kept your data. So I have kept this data here. So I'll just click on OK. So now you can able to see the projected dame will add here. OK. So same file I have added here. This I will uncheck. Now if you I want to provide a color, I can provide a color here. Just right click, then symbology. So from here, I can able to change the color ramp. Okay. So now we need to go to analysis tool. Analysis tool. In the analysis, if you'll see exploratory 3D analysis there. So what you are interested to do, cut and feel, elevation profile. So many things are there. We are interested to do for elevation profile. So I'll click on the elevation profile. So you will see the new window will open here. That is a exploratory analysis and elevation profile. So you want this elevation profile in meter, feet, yard, or miles. So that unit you need to select here. And then two option is here. That is interactive placements. So you can able to draw the line and according to that the graph will create or otherwise from layer. If you are having any layer, you can able to add the layer. Okay. Means if you are having any feature class that also you can able to add, but I will click on the interactive placement and I can able to draw the profile graph accordingly I want. You can able to take whatever based on your objectives. Okay. So now you can able to see, let I will minimize this. Okay. So now if you'll see here, okay. So this is showing elevation and this is showing distance. So we're getting elevation versus distance and this is in meter. So you can also change this in kilometer as well. Okay. So as I'm moving here, you can able to see the elevation at that location. Okay. So white point is showing the elevation at that location. So this is eight zero point eight five nine five kilometer. Okay. So as we are moving, we can able to see the elevation along that location. So this way very easily we can able to create this elevation profile graph. And also if you want to export this graph, you can export from here. Okay. So export graph option is there. If you want to reverse this, you can reverse this as well. Okay. And here are the option that is an image you want to export as an image or CSV table that you can able to export. So this way very easily you can able to export. So now you can able to see the dim showing. This value is showing this red color showing the highest elevation and this purple color showing the lowest elevation. So according to that you can able to draw the line and you can able to check the profile graph along that location. Okay. What are the graph you will draw here? You can able to see it is a changing. Okay. So again, if you want to draw different lines, you can able to draw the different lines. So here is the lower elevation. 
as you will move toward this, you will be able to see the elevation is increasing. Okay. So this way very easily you can able to prepare and you can able to use this for many purposes. Elevation mostly influence on climate as well as where and how people live. So also it is very useful for elevation terrain analysis. So elevation profile also provide the understanding of elevations and landforms. So you can able to use this and if you want to export, you can export from here. So if you have any doubts, you can just ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.